In today's video, we're going to learn how to scroll an element into the visible area of the browser using Selenium WebDriver. Hi, and welcome to Atomate Now. This is Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. And first, we're going to navigate to AtomateNow.io. Then we're going to click on Sandbox to go to the Sandbox page. And notice that there's a lot of content on this page. We can see that by looking at the scroll bar on the right. If I move the scroll bar down, we can see more of the content. The action that we're going to automate is scrolling down to this map here. So we're going to bring this map into view. Let's go ahead and write the test. And here we have the test called scroll element into view. And as usual, we're going to call the sandbox page page object. And then we're going to say a scroll map into view. Now we need to implement this method. And here we're going to need the locator for that map. And if you have been following these videos, you will remember that we interacted with this map in the past. So we already have a locator. And that is this one right here. So here I'm just going to call a method that I'm going to build in the base page class later. And this is going to be called a scroll element into view. And we're going to pass the locator for the map. Now let's go ahead and implement this method in this base page class. So we're going to scroll down and create a new method. This will require a by object. Now we're going to write the logic that is going to scroll this element into view. I'm going to first write the logic and then explain it step by step. So first we're going to need a web element. So we're going to say web element. We're just going to call it element. This is going to be equal to driver dot find element. I'm going to pass in the locator. Next, we're going to use the JavaScript executor interface. So we're going to say JavaScript executor. We're going to call this one executor. Then we need to cast the driver into JavaScript executor. And we do that by using parentheses and saying JavaScript executor. And then we say driver. Next, we're going to call the executor object. And we're going to say dot execute script. And this is the script that we're going to send. We're going to say arguments. And then inside brackets, we're going to say zero. Then we say dot scroll into view. And this is a method. So we use parentheses followed by a semicolon. Then we say comma element. There's a typo here. So let me go ahead and correct that. And that's all we need here. Since this method is the most important method in our test, let's go ahead and discuss each of these lines. First, we're creating a web element. Notice that when we call driver that find element, this returns a web element. If we inspect this method here, we're going to see that it returns a web element. Then we're using this JavaScript executor. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail of what JavaScript executor is. You can watch the video on the top right where I explain in detail what JavaScript executor interface is. But basically, this allows us to send JavaScript code to the browser by using this method here called execute script. And this is the script that we are sending. Let us understand this piece by piece. First, we see arguments and then in brackets, we see zero. This is referring to argument zero, which is the first argument. In this case, we have a web element right here. Let's check out the W3C schools website to learn what the arguments object is. And here it says the JavaScript functions have a built in object called the arguments object. It also says that it contains an array of arguments which are used when the function is called. So in our case, we only have one argument and that argument is this one here, the web element. So we are referring to this web element by saying arguments zero. Next we say dot scroll into view. Now let's see what the scroll into view method does. If we go back to W3C schools, we can see that it scrolls an element into the visible area of the browser. So now you know exactly what is happening here. We're saying argument zero, which is saying this web element. I want to scroll it into the visible area of the browser. And that's it. Now let's go ahead and run the test. And let's put a breakpoint right here before we do the scrolling operation. And let's run it in debug mode. And this is before we do the scrolling. Let's go back to the website. We see that it's not in view yet. Now let's go ahead and execute this line of code and go back to the website. Now we see that the map is in the view. Now let's see what else we can do with the scroll into view method. Let's go back to W3C schools. And here we see that this scroll into view method takes in a parameter called align to. This is an optional parameter. And these are the values that we can pass. We can pass in true or false. If we pass in true, it says that the top of the element will be aligned to the top of the visible area. 
What this means is that this top of the element will be aligned with the top of the visible area here. It says that if we pass false, the bottom of the element will be aligned to the bottom of the visible area. And in that case, this is the bottom of the element, and this would be aligned to the bottom of the visible area here. We also see that if we omit this parameter, it will scroll to the top of the element by default. So to test this, let's go ahead and pass in false to this method. And here we're going to say false. Now let's go ahead and rerun this test. And this time I'm going to put a breakpoint right here. We hit the breakpoint, so let's go back to the website. And notice that the bottom of the map is aligned with the bottom visible area. Just to remind you, let's go ahead and remove this and rerun the test. And this time it's no longer aligned at the bottom. It's now aligning the top with the top of the visible area. It's not exactly at the top, but it's close enough. And in fact, if we read the notes here, it says that some elements may not be scrolled completely to the top or to the bottom. Now you know how easy it is to scroll an element into view using Selenium WebDriver. I hope you had fun learning this cool little trick. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to the channel to keep getting a lot more great videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.